Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20. We are playing our journeyman save, climbing the ladder. Although we're not climbing very high, uh, we've discussed the um, reputation issues that we've been dealing with uh, the last couple of episodes. Anyway, we are with uh, our fifth club, FK Carl Scrona. This is season six, episode six. And we are winding it down this year. Uh, things have taken a turn for the worse here in September. Uh, after the 1-1 draw with Nor Coping and beating Orebro 2-0. Team TG stunned us. Clean sheeting 2-0. And I think that sent us into a spiral. Your Gardens beat us with... Two goals right at the end of the first half in stoppage time to beat us 2-1. We did beat Angel Holmes or Angel Holmes 5-2. Sam Betts, Coco, Leonard Thompson, Olaf Lindback, and Rickard Stinquist uh, all with goals. Two goals in stoppage time. Three counting the one they got from Tim Monson. Uh, but that was a nice win to get back on track. And then BJ uh, BK Hawken. Uh, Tiago got a brace, including an 80th minute penalty. They were up 3-0 before we got our first goal. So we're struggling. We're struggling. Looking at the competition, however, we are uh, sitting in third. Uh, Nor Coping has overtaken Hammerby. Hammerby still has three games in hand. Uh, we've got one game in hand, but we're seven points back. If we take a look at uh, recent form, is it stages? Yeah, there we go. Uh, second half of the stage, uh, Nor Coping and then us. Hammerby's actually in fourth, but again, uh, several games in hand. But Nor Coping has been dominant, winning nine, losing only one, and pulling 30 points out of 13 matches. We pulled 21 out of 12. So, uh, but Nor Coping have been on fire. Uh, last five games, uh, we have really struggled. Six points from five matches, uh, which are which is setting us up for failure, I'm afraid. But uh, we do have, uh, we play AIK, they're seventh in the table. Kalmar is fifth, and Malmo is fourth as we finish up the season. Uh, if we win today, because let's see, we have nine points. And we're nine points up. Honestly, unless we get blown out, we're probably safe for fourth position. And that's but that's nine points. So a single point today. Eight, seven. Yeah. A single point today could secure third position for us. So that's why we're coming back for this particular uh matchup. So let's get to it because we want to try to blow through this just in case we have to play three matches. So three draws, one win, one defeat to, to uh, AIK. They are home favorites. Things are, you know, we're not looking great, but we have switched over to a central defend. Uh, Gunners has moved up top. Paulson is out injured. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He comes back uh, in seven days. Uh, Harris Ramick. I think we've got everybody we want on the pitch. Let's get to it. Hopefully we can pull a win. Latifi is back uh, from his injury. Uh, he's still working on fitness, but he'll be on the bench today. Sure, the pressure's off. And you know what? We've had quite a few players, uh, three or four players recently since last episode, have been complaining about their playing time. So one of the new things in FM20 was the, um, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, I forget what they call it. Thompson has the ball. But, uh, you know, like a star player, important player, regular player, squad player, fringe player. You guys know what I'm talking about. But that's actually coming into play. Driscoll can't find the net. Um, but um, that's actually coming into play. So we've got guys that, you know, one or two seasons ago were important players, regular starters, what have you. Oh, that was not good. 
And um, they've been complaining recently since we've been losing. Let's give them a get creative. Let's see if we can inspire them a little bit. They haven't managed a shot yet. Four out of seven shots on target. Five out of nine. We've had two chances created. All right, let's get a little passion here for the home stretch. We've got a couple of minutes left here in the first half. Aiden's going to take a long throw. He dives it into the box. Betts is there. He takes a ping just wide of the net. They've just been struggling. 15 shots. We have dominated this and still have yet to find the opening goal to break this thing open. All right. Well, let's get them back. Back to the grind. Evans is playing an 8-4. Evans is in the running for... Uh, player of the year for the Alice Gavon. Uh, Victor Seeger. Let's go ahead and sub him off. Uh, let's go ahead and bring uh, let's bring I'm going to bring Coco on for him. And he can play left back. Well, he's playing good. He could play center. You know what? I'm going to pull Pallison off to get a yellow out of there. We'll move Lynn back into the center and Latifi out wide left. Gets a yellow off. Keeps us strong in the middle. Tell him to show some passion. All right. Why you didn't control that, I don't know. Uh, intercepted by Betts. He holds it up. Finds Evans in space. Uh, Evans to Gunners. Offsides. He broke a little too early. I tell you what, you can actually see, if you go back like one or two episodes, when we were, we were putting some through balls there, and these guys were like breaking, taking a step to the side before they made their break to stay on sides. Definitely, definitely definitely is making a difference. Let's tell him to push forward. And I'm going to bring Stenquist on. He has scored a couple of goals. Thompson plays it short. Oh, nice little ball there. Oh, my God. Lindback off the woodwork. Costman hits it over. Only a partially filled stadium. Four minutes of stoppage time. We're going to have to defend a set piece. Head it out. Push out and defend, please. Good block. All right, there's a ball across the midfield line. And a couple of the losses were just like this. We dominated this match and yet just could not. I mean, we even had nine on target, three chances. But I think that has secured us, possibly. Hammerby goes back on top. All right, we do appreciate the effort. We'd rather three points, but I think the one point's all we needed. Let's take a look here. Oh, yes, we have qualified. All right, Seeger's going to be out only a day or two. Yeah, we should have won that match. Uh, Evans, your passing was impeccable. And we qualify for Euro Cup and a top three position, which is a club record for the best finish. So remind me again, if we look at the rules... So we're going to get $3 million, boys. That's huge. I don't think we can catch second. Boy, that would be nice, that extra half a million dollars, though, right? We're even with, yeah, we're six. I mean, we do have two matches left. So what I'm going to do is we're going to skip the next match, play that off camera. We'll come back for the season finale because I don't think we're going to catch them, but we've secured third position 
and we can't do any worse than third, which is a big step up for us, right? All right, well, we'll see you guys back here in a second. We're going to go ahead and play Kalmar off camera, and we'll see you back for the season finale with Malmo. Well, I am certainly glad that we drew the point in last match because we lost to Kalmar 1-0. We did not play well. You can see uh, our keeper got injured in training leading up to that match. Missed the match. Not bad. He should be back today for this game. Uh, Bailey was in the middle instead of Dietert. We had Gunners in the midfield. Uh, Stenquist was in there. So you can see quite a lot of players that... Uh, and we had a missed penalty. Yep. Missed penalty. So that doesn't help us in the least. So heading into the last game again, we've secured uh, qualifying for Euro Cup 2. And uh, we are definitely finishing in third position. Board's very happy with that. I think they're going to want to finish. Probably next year is going to be to win the league, which we'll talk about that. End of the video. So stick around for the discussion. Uh, but we are playing Malmo today. Uh, hopefully we can draw some points. We do have quite a few players coming back. So O'Driscoll is back in. Uh, I'm going to put Pison in for Gunners. Seeger, Evans, Betts. They haven't gotten their partnership going yet. Dieter, Pallison, Kuniko. Yep, that looks like the who's who. Gunner, Coco. On the bench. Oh my God. Do it for the fans. If you care. So last match, you know, where we were missing, a, you know, three or four of our starters. Uh, we only managed nine shots. Oh, there we go. Good run in by Dieter. I bet he plays it back to the keeper. Nope. Uh, but he played it to their team. Uh, Larson with the run through. Uh, flicked away. What a save. Beautiful, beautiful save. Came out, made himself big, got his hand on it. Oh, uh, blocked. Looked like it might have been blocked by his own teammate. All right, fighting for the ball. Good block. Thompson's there. Oh, speaking of Thompson. So, Thompson, one of our best players. Yeah, no argument. He's only, he's worth like 44500 but he's only got an $18,500 buyout. So we went to make him, we got a, got an email from uh, my general manager said, Hey, we should transfer list this guy or offer him a new contract. Cause he's going to run his contract down and you know, his, his buyout is much less than his value, which, you know, those are the kind of players you go after, right? You know, that you could snatch up that are worth more than you can buy them for. So we made him an offer. We are getting overrun here. Holy crap. Not good, fellas. Um, no, we're, we're... I'm not pleased. No, I'm not going to lie to you. All right, let's, uh, let's show some passion. Um, so anyway, uh, he wanted a contract more than we could offer. Just... You know, we it, over three hundred thousand a year. So we countered, and he rejected it, and then wouldn't talk to us anymore. Oh, uh, Driscoll puts it in the net. His eleventh of the season. He's really struggled this year. I, I, he started off so hot, and he's only on eleven here in the last game. So we didn't get the goal scoring that I thought we would get out of him. A little disappointed. A little disappointed. We are at home, 3,000 in attendance, almost 1,000 away fans. So anyway, uh, Thompson, we ended up transfer listing him, uh, unspecified amount. Oh, God. Oh, good recovery by Seeger. 
Lindback. Paulson, his eighth of the season. That looks good. Let's go ahead and sub off. Um, tell you what, Latifi for, let's pull Dieter off with the yellow. We'll move Lynn back inside. I would like uh, Coco for Seeger on the outside there. He's playing well, but still. I want to get a couple of these guys in the last match of the season. So uh, somebody's come in, made an offer at his release clause. So we're gonna we're gonna lose money on him. We're not gonna get the the big payday, but he he refused to discuss any more contract with us, and so we're gonna lose him for next season. Disappointed about that. Is what it is, I suppose. Um, praise. Coco into the box. Rostrup makes the save. So 2-0. That's looking good. A little bit of pressure on the keeper. That's lumped over. Uh, Evans, you should have had that. So I'm looking forward to the awards. I'm Evans is up for uh, Swedish Player of the Year. So excited to see what may happen there. A little flick on header. Kiriko. Oh, it gets over. Paulson through to Driscoll, and he finds the edge of the net just inside the post, his 12th. And that's a great goal, his brace for the day. That's the way to end the season. 3-0. And anybody else we want to bring on? Let's put him on for... Let's put him on for Thompson. Thompson can get a round of applause. His last game with the club. He hasn't accepted the contract yet, but, you know, he will. Well, some tough defense there. So I am thinking the board had given me a new, oh, good save. A new two-year deal. I was in the last year of my contract. And the board gave me a new two-year deal. So I've been contemplating, actually since the end of last match in this episode, I started thinking about it. And I think I'm resigning, guys. I think I'm going to resign. Oh, Lindback came through his back. He's gone. That's a red card. I think that's a red card. Please be a yellow. Nope, it's a red. Straight red card for Lindback. He goes off. Uh, Kuniko. Kuniko. He can play center. All right, let's bring Paulison. All right, we'll bring these guys in. And... I don't have any more subs. That's not good. All right. Gunners. Gunners. Mid-center. All right. So we're going to put you there. We're going to drop you here. Coco. Well, you know what? I'll leave you outside. Put you there. And... We'll go there. I don't know what that'll do, but and we'll tell them to tighten up. We're already on cautious. Head it out. And that was hor horrible. Horrible. Four minutes of stoppage time. Let's just get to the whistle. O'Driscoll, good flick out. At least it was the 90th minute. A 3-0 win. We got dominated in that one, but we uh, we pulled it out. Uh, we we're going to go passionate, really special. All right, so let's, uh, let's do the end of season wrap up. We'll look at awards. Uh, so we are 
we are in 56 points. Lindback is suspended. I'm not going to appeal. O'Driscoll, 10 hours of soccer without a goal, and he was our leading scorer. Only ends up with nine, so I'm a little disappointed in that. But he ends up on a good note, so maybe that'll carry over for next year. We get $3 million. It's hard to leave on that note. You know what I'm saying? But let's get up to the end of season, and then we'll kind of talk about everything. All right, let's see. I don't know if this is going to be all the awards, but Carl Evans, player of the season, 76%. Also had the goal of the season, Richard Stenquist, signing of the season, Carl Evans, young player of the season. Uh, we finished 71% uh, capacity. Club vision, let's see, strive to make progress, in progress, mid-table for ne uh, next year. They want a mid-table finish, reach the third qualifying round. All right, so top half that's what it was, right? Top half, mid-table, mid-table. All right, uh, passionate, everybody's happy, boom. They are off. All right, let's take a quick look at the squad. So 12 goals, damn, 12 goals led the way, eight goals for Paulson, seven for Evans, five assists for O'Donnell and Evans. Six assists for Thompson led the way. He is departing. Going to take 153,000 salary with him. So that's good. Coco's on 252. He's getting paid way too much. Um, especially with Seeger in front of him. I guess I could move Seeger to the left back. Because he's on an affordable deal. But I'm contemplating leaving. I'm contemplating it. I'm not positive, but I'm 99% sure. So, all right, let's see. Here we go. All right, we had a tax bill. 92000 Well, commercial, That's that went up. That went down a little bit. That's up a million dollars. That's huge. That's, that's why I don't know if I want to leave or not. But... I, I don't think I can do anything else here. All right. Initial budgets. 4.93 million in payroll. 2.52 in transfer. That's huge. That gives us another 1.6 million. But we're not turning a profit. That's the problem. Now, we're only at 2.3 million, and that's with the prize money we just got because we were three quarters of a million in the hole. So that's the problem. I can't spend this much. I just can't. Um, but let's look here. So we have finished third. We're in Europe. I, yeah, I don't know. Do I stay one more year for Europe? I think I do. But I, I'm thinking we got to leave here, guys. So if we look at profile... I haven't gained anything again. Um, nothing. So either, either that initial 30 years that I simmed was so debilitating to the reputation because this was the manager that I had assigned to the team uh, that... No, but, well, see, I don't think that's the case. But, I mean, look how long we've been with Carl Skrona now. We just finished our sixth season. They just signed me to a two-year deal, 136000 a year, just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. I mean, there's a lot of jobs available. Angle Holmes is available, but I'd want to leave here. I mean, I'd want to leave. But that's that's probably the highest that I'd be able to get. Because, see, we, we only gained a quarter star. We're at one and a half now. And I'm at one and a quarter. So 
I'm not going to be able to do anything. How deep is uh, Blythe Spartans in League 2? League 1, I mean, Brentford, two and a quarter. They're a whole star ahead of me. So is Preston. Luton, Blythe, Wigan, Air. Those are the kind of clubs that I'd have to go after. You know what? I think, you know, after six seasons, after six seasons, we finished third, won silverware, gained promotion, automatic promotion, not even a playoff. And now we've qualified for Europe. Let's see. Division one, they're 85th. No, not League One. That's the one I can't do. So 85th. League two's barely above that. I think what I need to do is step down and and build from that bottom level again. And I don't know that we can, that I, you know, I think we've already shown that I'm not going to be able to build my reputation here. While I would like to go to Europe next year, I really think I want to try to get back to England and start, you know, so I think maybe I go after maybe these four jobs. Scottish League One is 81st. It's a little farther behind, but that could be, so maybe that's the direction I'd go. I could go to Italy. I've never been coached in Italy, I don't think. Well, they're 78, so they're above League One, Scottish League One, just behind League Two. So maybe that's not a bad idea either. So there's quite a few Italian teams. I think I'm going to resign, guys. Let's let's finish up here because I want to look and see if any of our guys win an award. But I want to resign, get a clean break. That should make me more marketable rather than uh, Kosman, a new shutout record. All right, they're offering contracts. All right, you know what? Now I'm just going to resign. I'm going to resign immediately. Yes, I am. Boom. I've already done it. Damn. 12 years of experience. A couple of unemployed people. Victor Nyberg, wasn't he a uh, 44? I thought he was a player. Uh, let's see. Let's take... I, I do want to go back and look at something with them, though. So I'm favored personnel. I'm not even an icon. I should be an icon. Oh, well. All right, guys. Well, let's end it there. Uh, I will work through the off season. I'm going to go apply for some jobs. And uh, we'll bounce back and forth and see what happens. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I'm sorry if you're upset that I'm leaving. But six years in a journeyman, that's a long run. So I really think... I need to make this move and go to a lower league and then try to win silverware again and see if that jump starts my reputation building. If not, then I think it's just time to end the save and then convert over into my second save of the game. Because I, as I've talked about, I usually do two saves a year. I usually do a journeyman for half the time. Uh, and then uh, I do a second save of some sort. So I'll be thinking about that. Uh, but right now what I want to do is I want to do another, at least an, uh, a couple of seasons before I pull the plug on it. But we'll see how things... Okay. We'll see how things go um, moving forward through the job interviews. 
And if I don't get a job, then this may be the good break time. Because again, I, I think I think this particular manager profile is broken. I don't know why, don't know what caused it. But I think with the successes that we've had, even though it's not a ton of silverware, you know, we had we had back to back promotions with silverware in one of the two promotions. I just, you know, we qualified for Euro this year. That didn't do anything. I don't know, man. I just very, very disappointed. Anyway, we'll see you guys uh, next episode, and we'll catch up on where we're at and what's going on. Have a good one. Bye.